Hello again, everybody. Today, I am back with another figurine review. Uh, this time, I will be covering the Sega Project Diva Arcade Future Tone Hatsune Miku Super Premium Jersey Version. I won this figure as a prize for a scavenger hunt as part of a university anime convention. If you're interested in getting this figure for yourself, it's available on Amazon for about $21. The figure itself is listed to be about 9 inches. The box itself is 11, aka 28 centimeters. Judging from the extensively long name that the figure's given, I'm going to assume that this is the kind of prize you normally win from an arcade machine. You know how it works in Japan, they love winning stuff. Some more information on the back of the box here. I can't read any of it, so we're just gonna go ahead and pop this thing open. Pulling the Jersey Miku out of the box now, and uh, we can see that it actually comes with its own pink base plate. The figure in the base plate really seemed to be pushing a whole star sprangled jersey motif. It might be kind of like a Japanese Americanized aesthetic that they're going for. The plate pops into Miku's right foot here, and the initial setup is all complete. As the description stated, this figure does stand at 9 inches. Miku has traded off her usual twin tail look, and her long hair has been bunned up into a bun on her head. I think these are earmuffs, not really headphones of any type. If they are earmuffs and not headphones, that would suggest that Miku is dressed for cold weather, but the rest of her outfit kind of disagrees with that. The jersey top is a snug fit, you got some more stars, and there's a lot of green going on here. The color palette for this kit is very, very green. There's a fair amount of detail in the shoes. And I think design-wise, I am convinced Miku is dressed for a very bizarre jogging adventure in unknown weather. Her panties are blue. Uh, overall, my feelings for this figure, I, I don't really have much to say. I got this for free. It seems to have good quality. I'm not particularly a fan of the design, but I have been meaning to get a Miku figure for a while. Uh, I would totally rate this figure uh, three impractical winter outfits out of four. That wraps everything up, thank you for watching, and I'll be back probably with more stuff.